All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Doctor Stone season three, episode four. In the last episode, the main part of the episode, very exciting, kind of scary, uh, so shivers up my spine. Um, was the ending where Senku, Ukyo, uh, who else was there? Damn, I forgot who else was there. Anyway, <laughs> Ukyo, Jen, and then. Yeah, no, I can't remember who else. But yeah, they were on the boat um, and then they got a message over Morse code that they received over their kind of radio radio, radio waves or whatever. Um, crazy that there's someone else in the world, I made a comment about this on the video, um, that not only has the ability to send these messages, but has already been sending these messages and it's just another person or whatever this is like that's up and out somewhere in the world which is creepy as hell along with the freaking on-screen illustrations the background music the noise and shit completely horror horror film atmosphere wasn't expecting it but yeah overall a very good episode and now we've had a new interesting mystery element to the story very exciting um and it may also be the person or whatever it is i'll just say person um that's and have started the petrification according to senku so yeah very excited for it as always guys if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well and let's go into this episode right now i don't know if i trust that though kingdom of science war room okay oh it was ryusui that was on the boat as well how did i forget that he's a freaking captain the five most clever people in the kingdom of science. They're like commanders. Oh, generals, bro. That's sick. <laughs> oh, give Chromis props. That's so cool how they're like the commanders. That's sick. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Thanks for the recap. <laughs> oh, the poor dog. That's so sad. Like, after a while... Animals would just unlearn domestication, but like the poor little dog waited for his owner to come out of the stone. Oh, they're calling this thing the Y Man. Fair enough. Ooh, interesting. Oh no, the atmosphere screams enemy. Yeah, that's smart. Expect war. Interesting. So it's not just a message being played over and over. They are aware. What if it's like an organization that's been up for like 500 years or something? That'd be crazy. The eyes of science. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, games. Let's go. Ooh, pretty. Did you just get a rock launched at you? Are you good, Senku? Fluorescent paint, yo. Yeah, Kaseki. Again, hella smart. Fluorescent paint. Are they making a UV lamp? Wait, they already made one, didn't they? What is this? What the hell is this? Oh, it's a display. Ray tubes. Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? Oh, yeah, like a TV. The power of the crystal. Yo, <laughs> it looked like a mad wizard. Legit magic powers. This is hella science -y right now. That's cool. Taking the ingredients of the earth and making them into magical things. Oh. Oh, nice. That's fucking awesome. Bro, Senku too smart. Look at this, that looks sick. And they got Ukyo as well, who worked on a submarine. That's really helpful. 
fucking creepy. I have no idea how radars work, so... You tell me. What is it, like fish? What are we looking for? So there's something unleveled in the ocean, basically, is what they're trying to say here. Oh, they're going to use uh, the radar to catch fish. Nice. Their boat is not big enough to pull a ho That many fish? Oh my god. This click is so satisfying. I could never do it that good. Yeah, for real. I forgot this was like an end goal. Yeah, you can't threaten Senku. That's a lot of different fish right there. Restaurant Francois. <laughs> oh, y'all y'all never ain't never eaten fish like this, bro. Oh, what are you thinking of now? No, it's not an x-ray. Is he thinking the same thing? Or is he thinking of something else? Yeah. Chrome's gonna think of something crazy. Yeah? He's so happy about this. That is a lot of work. There's no way they'll get to this point. They'll make a dumbed-down version of it. We're actually going to have to start going mining in this bitch. Possibly. Is he making a, is he making a metal detector? I love how helpful Chrome always wants to be. He's like, with his limited science mind, it's kind of actually like endless what he can do. It's always something even Senku doesn't think of. He's like actually made a metal detector. <laughs> That's so sick. Bro, I love when Chrome gets some crazy ideas like this. <laughs> I love that look on Senku's face as well. I fucking love this duo, man. That's so good. An iron deposit. That's so sick. Now their metal problems are sorted. Holy shit. A whole ass mine. I'd love to see Chrome when he's grown up. Like a full grown scientist. He'd be so smart. Yeah, we need, we need a way to pass all this through, though. How are they going to do it? I'm trying to f think of this before Senku says it. What is this? I don't get it. And I'm going to be... It's going to be awesome when I find out what it is, but... Bro, Jen, your driving is horrible. <laughs> Oh shit! Tar in the roads, nice. That's crazy, bro. We're moving so quickly through time. I would not want to fall in that pot. Get the absolute strength team on this shit. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> The people of the water. True, transport around Japan must be great. You need a bigger ship. No one will follow a leader who isn't having fun. Oh, they made a minecart system. Okay, this isn't what I was expecting, but yeah, makes sense. Alright, makes sense. I should have seen what was on Kaseki's shoulders and realized that they were rails. Why is this episode ending like it's a season ending? Ooh, 
Let's go. This is hype. Right, so that was Dr. Stone, Season 3, Episode 4. Chrome, the MVP, as always, is the GOAT. Is the pre... Not prehistoric. Obviously, past... I don't know. What, oh God, mind blank. Anyway, he's the GOAT. He's the GOAT scientist of this new world. Obviously, Senku's here as well. But I love the way he can just figure out things that obviously we as 20, 21st century people know about. But like... He just imagines it, and it's just like how how science progresses through people who don't even know anything about it, who can had a complete reset on the world. It's so fucking awesome. I love Chrome. I lo also love the part where they they were basically at the five generals: Senku, Chrome, Ukyo, uh, Ryusui, and Jen. That's really cool. They are they're like an, a a leader of their own sector, basically. I think that's really awesome that we've got not just Senku as a leader within all of this. Um, but yeah, overall, a great episode. The 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 strides they've taken in the world now with the industrial revolution here, minecarts, tarring roads, like making obviously paths and stuff. It's great. Love to see it. Very excited to see the ship being built and uh, the the amount of metalwork and shit that's gonna they're gonna need for the ship is wild. But I'm hyped. They are truly making strides through history now. I'm here for it. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode and the reaction along with me. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.